Hello and welcome to our channel. Today I have another episode about containers. This time we will see how to run a tool called Singularity on our HPC cluster known as IBEX. My name is Dr. Didier Barradas Bautista. I am part of the Chaos Visualization Core Lab or KVL. As you can see, the KVL team has expertise on different subjects. One of those is data science. All right, let's discuss the central question here. Why containers? Now, think about this scenario. You are actually developing something that you want to share with another person and you're writing your code in your computer. Basically, this is a scenario called bare metal. You have your OS optimized to run all these things that you have with your libraries, your binaries, your applications. And it only runs in your computer. So you end up being that meme that says that, but it runs in my computer. And it's like, what are you going to do? Ship your laptop? So one of the solutions for this was the invention of virtual machines or containers. Virtual machines and containers. What are the difference between these two? A virtual machine will encapsulate the full OS. What does that mean? It will use something called a hypervisor to orchestrate the complete operating system that has all the binaries in applications. This is usually very heavyweight, but it has its implementation. Sometimes you need to have a lot of control about the OS that is specific for your application. But again, you have to have the same type of RAM and maybe it will not, it will not run in the same, uh, in all the different setups that you have. Meanwhile, containers are very lightweight in comparison. They are great for sharing and collaboration. And for me, the most important point is that it allows the research to be reproducible and that's because it froze everything from your laptop, all the libraries and binaries that you want to include in the container in time. So a container that can be basically old can be still run in modern computers. Why is that? Because the containers will basically take advantage of the local OS of your machine and it can be a Mac a Windows or a Linux machine and share some of the binaries, but literally the container will just get the minimal OS requirements, your applications and your scripts that you need inside of them. This makes them lightweight, so they're great for sharing and collaboration. Yet again, you also can install them with anything you want and this will be important in a second. I will tell you what is Singularity. Singularity is basically an open source container platform that the main feature is that it's secure. Why? Because I told you that containers can borrow stuff from the OS, meaning that the security of a container can be compromised sometimes, but Singularity is built in such a way that this shouldn't happen, okay? It's fast, it's simple, it, you can learn it very quickly, but why it is important that you want to install everything that you can in a container. Because if you're using HPC cluster, you have to understand that an HPC cluster is not your personal computer. It's a shared resource and the team that administrate that HPC cluster will not give you root access. Because if you try to install your libraries and then it breaks somebody else's libraries, then you are basically causing problems to everybody in a big team. And of course, the HPC clusters, they are serving a lot of people. This is why containers in HPC clusters are important and can be run usually using Singularity and Podman. Okay, so today we're going to see a demo where we're going to use very simple, uh, a very, very simple example of how to use Singularity, and we will try to deploy a Jupyter Lab. Okay, are so good. So here we are. 
The Jupyter Lab that we're going to try to deploy is this official Jupyter Data Science Notebook that you can check it out in Docker Hub. If you know what is Docker Hub, great. If you don't know, it's basically a public repository that lives in the cloud where you can check different images that people already built. Now, you can also check out the different documentations that are for Singularity. Let's connect. Let's connect to our. Oh, there you go. Let's connect to Ibex. Now I input my password. Now, also to use Singularity, we have the documentation right here in our brand new web page docs.hpc.caos.edu.sa Now, the first thing that you have to do when you are here is module dot singularity singularity There you go It will load singularity Now you can use the command line just like it says here you can pull images from Docker repository, or there are other repositories that exist out there from the same company that brought you Singularity. Now, let's do this example. Singularity pool library, Alpine. Alpine is a very small uh, Linux, Linux uh, distribution. So for example, here is telling me, you cannot do this, okay. Why don't you try, let's say, singularity pool. Let's call it Docker. Docker, and let's ask for engine X. Now, it's looking for engine X into the Docker repository is getting the image, is downloading the image. I can do the same for Alpine. And at the end of it, it will create a CIF file or singularity format. And you can check it out here. Fail. Now here is my Nginx singularity image. SIF, Singularity Image File. Yes, I know. Okay, that's very easy. And you have an actual physical file that you can move. For example, let's move this guy. And I'm going to move it to my scratch. Singularity Demo. I can move it over there. Now, let's go over here, and you will see that I already have different things here. We have the Data Science Launch Notebook. I did that beforehand, just with the same kind of pool requirement, Docker, Data Science, Notebook. I copy-pasted from this page here, this part here. And that was all of it. And it generates this zip file. As you can see here, it does show you that it has 66 megabytes for the Nginx and almost two gigabytes for the data science one. Okay, that's cool. So now I want to share with you the script that I used to launch. Let's see it here with color and everything. So to launch a Jupyter Notebook in this in this setup, I am asking for resources. In this case, it's going to be one GPU for a very short time, any GPU. The name of my job is going to be Jupyter. I have 32 gigabytes. I will have an output, an error file. I will set up how to look for it, then I will copy this image, this, um, yeah, this uh, IP here in order to connect to the Jupyter Notebook. 
and here you have a very simple very simple command line you call singularity execute this flag here means that i want the nvidia uh, libraries available to the container this is my image that i generated with the pool and then i basically execute what is inside of this container as a command line so i am executing basically this line from inside here okay now let's do s batch launch there you go now another thing about uh, singularity is that you can basically move the things around let's go to pool now alpine let's see if this time it succeeds okay success now i can do this several times for all the images that i need for all the things that i need and if you want to for example create your own images or you can pull images from the ngc we have it here in this container part you can create the containers you have examples here of how to write definitions which is basically this equivalent of a docker file for singularity and now let's check this out nice let's check the jupiter and yep in the error file you will see that we have everything here ready to pick up the jupiter has been executed from inside of the container and now let's connect to it here we have the ip and we need the token and with the token let's copy paste the token nice and easy now it's telling me to select a kernel i have this kernel here and now i am inside here's my alpine latest if i am in that folder and i can execute everything here we can even do something like this and it will create the files here that even if you're working with the container you will create files that you can then access later on that will be safe on your space inside of the computer nice and done this is all that i have for you today thank you for listening and like and subscribe